Today we're going to shed some light on how to operate certain features of your unit. Hi, I'm Matt Arndt. And I'm Bart Taylor. Welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips. Today, we're gonna to shed some light on how to operate certain features of your unit. We all know that camping begins with a story that started in the kitchen, the exterior camp kitchen of your Keystone RV. We're doing this video to help you get the most out of your outside kitchen and understand some limitations and proper usage. There are many variations in exterior camp kitchens, and today we have a Cougar 32 BHS with a mini refrigerator, cooktop, and sink that is plumbed to a black or gray tank. We will start with a mini refrigerator housed inside on a shelf or countertop. Like a residential refrigerator, the cooling process is done by transferring air across the cooling fins, which removes heat from the inside of the refrigerator. To help this happen effectively, we want the camp kitchen door open to move and circulate air. The refrigerator will not cool to its potential when the compartment door is closed. When you are getting ready to go camping, it's a good idea to turn the refrigerator on for a couple hours before filling it with food and drinks. This will ensure the refrigerator is thoroughly chilled. Remember to keep that compartment door open until it's time to hit the road. When the mini refrigerator is not being used and the compartment door is closed, it's recommended to turn it off, remove all the food and drink, defrost the freezer portion if it has one, and wipe it out with a soft cloth. Next, let's discuss the sink. I'll point out that this sink is plumbed to a tank. Some units just have a removable water tray and faucet that does not actually drain. This is good to know before turning on the water and just walking away. If you have a sink that is plumbed to a tank like this one, it's very important to know it will drain into either a black or gray tank. Be mindful of your water consumption if dry camping to maximize the holding tank's capacity and keep an eye on your tank levels. Next, let's pull out the cooktop grill. This is a good time to measure the cooking surface and your skillet and pans. You might ask, why do I need to measure the cooking surface and my pots and pans? For everyone's safety, never use cookware that extends beyond the cooking surface or rests over two operating top burners. This will cause excessive heat buildup, resulting in damage to the grate, top burner, and cooktop. As with any other cooking surface, be mindful and aware of any children in the area. Do not leave the cooktop unattended while in use. Remember, those little hands are made for eating cookies and giving hugs. Nothing is more serious to us than your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Please follow all warning labels and review the manufacturer's instructions provided in the blue bag. Again, safety first. When turning in for the evening, it is best to shut the door and lock things up. Do not store the cooktop until cool to the touch. This will help alleviate any concerns about the upcoming weather and the adventures of the mass critters that come out to play. We encourage you to use your best judgment based on your surroundings and conditions. We have found camping with a camp kitchen is just like your kitchen at home. People love to gather around a kitchen area, so don't be surprised if this turns out to be the new hotspot in your camp setting for drinks, snacks, and conversation with new friends. If you found this video helpful or have other suggestions to camp better, please leave us a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more RV Pro Tips on the operation and maintenance of your Keystone RV. Visit us at KeystoneRV.com or download the My Keystone mobile app for additional comments. And thank you for watching. <laughs>